took away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful morning, a full week of checking these buttons. Thank you guys for tuning in. We got a lot of hype action chapters down below. If you guys want to skip around, we got a special one today. And that sub button, we're on the race so close to 60K. Thank you guys so much. We got a lot. So without further ado, ladies and gents, let's start this week. Let's go. And now for them special sponsored buttons that need to be checked. Hang with us real quick. Thank you guys, all the viewers out there, because once again, you've made it possible for Button Check to be sponsored once again. In this sponsor is none other than Timu, believe it or not. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I didn't really, I wasn't too familiar with them. I actually asked my wife to go, Hey, are you familiar with Timu? And she looked at me like I was stupid. She was like, not only do I order from them all the time, I have the app on my phone. And then of course, I was like, okay, so I'm the one out the loop. Then of course I looked at the website. I put two and two together. I was like, okay, cherry on the cake. Let's go. Timu has been around for a long time and they've been delivering products at crazy low prices. Okay. So in a nutshell, imagine like your favorite store combined with uh, the dollar store whether it's anime gaming stuff or men's products even tech stuff you can find all of them at super affordable prices and i mean that hey look at me in the look at me in the eyeballs i mean it and if you're like me you check all the reviews i read them all right just to check the product i even cross-referenced it with like the youtube reviews and there's a lot of youtubers there talking about yeah i got the product and it's identical so obviously definitely do that and continue to go through the catalog and just check out the pricing and somehow there's a way that you could actually spend less because timu is currently doing a game day event right if you search my code it's dkt5569 once again that's dkt5569 i'll put it down below as well use that to join a special event collecting more t Timu credits and coupons to save even more than usual. As a Timu shopper, you'll get a total value of over 5 million Timu credits. That's insane. 5 million, I mean, what are we doing? Definitely take advantage of the big game day event going down. This is how it's going to look as well. You're going to see victory, $15 orders on $60 plus, uh, $25 for orders over $100 plus, and $35 for orders over 125 plus. So basically you get these credits and coupons so you can use during the Team Move Big Game Sale. And back what I was saying to my wife in the beginning, like she's already been on it. She's like, I had the app, download the app y'all. Like literally I became a believer. Once I saw prices like this, look, I need a mouse, right? I'll show the video right now. It's $10.79 for a mouse. And even once you order it, all shipping is free and you have a 90 day return policy, 90 days. Then even a drone, an actual drone, $13.49, $13.49. Like I said, read the reviews, $13.49. And this is why it makes sense to me. Let me know if it rings true for you guys. But as a content creator, I'm always looking for like lights, replacements, microphones, cameras. So if I could see prices like this, that I honestly didn't know existed, I'm all about it. So I'm gonna get my reviews on, I'm gonna do all the detailed information, and if it's for me, I'm gonna order it. So one more time before we get out of here, thank you guys for all the love, and of course, the Timu family for sponsoring Button Check. Download the app, link down below, use my code once again, down below, get you those credits and coupons, big game day sale, cheap prices, all the good stuff, ladies and gents, let's go. All right, now into them scrub quotes at its finest, AKA there's no way somebody's that good at combos and not a virgin. <laughs> Buttons that need to be checked. You'll understand all this in a second. All right, profile on the screen, Mrs. Play stuff, right? Uh, she's been doing the damn thing for a while. Um, I believe we talked about her on this channel before. Uh, I'm a fan, right? Anyway, I'll put her information down below. Definitely check her out. So she posted a clip the other day saying first rage quit in Tekken 8 till now, or I'm sorry, fastest rage quit in Tekken 8 till now. Check out the clip. Now, somebody by the name of Rage Crew, I guess didn't appreciate that. They respond underneath her saying, yeah, when you play Tekken for a living and other people have to work real jobs, of course they're gonna leave when you play like that. She responds saying, I work a real job full time. This is my hobby and free time. Read my bio, no excuses. Damn, that's what's up, right? But Rage Crew, there's some other banter that goes on, uh, but eventually Rage Crew responds again saying, there's no way Someone's pulling off combos that are taking half my health if they have a life and aren't a virgin. <laughs> it's not 
not about losses. I don't care about losses if it's a good, honest fight. But Timmy, who's wave dashing and KI charging after 3 0 me, nah, sweaty loser. And of course, oh my God, wasn't that beautiful? You got that FGC reacting. I mean, this shit went viral, still going viral, right? Big Bird, right? Saying, uh, you're, are you a good player or are you just a virgin? Important questions we need to ask ourselves, right? Continuing on right here, others are like, uh, virgin check or virgin checking in, thumbs up with that KO. And Damascus says, I'll always laugh at this particular type of scrub quote, suggesting that landing a medium difficult combo requires a PhD in fighting games, while all it takes is 10 minutes in training mode and a convenient matchmaking to style on this perfect, I'm sorry, specific scrub. Mrs. Play Stuff comments again, basically she's just, you know, quoting him saying there's no way someone's pulling off these uh, type of combos, taking half my health if they have a life or aren't, I'm sorry, if they have a life and aren't a virgin rage crew 2024 <laughs> keeps on saying there's literally a mission to do 70 percent combo in arcade quest which i achieved without even making an effort continuing on brutus says i would have won the set if i wasn't busy getting so much I said it takes way too much of my time. I can't remember a day I wasn't getting it. Oh, is that an optimal combo? Sorry, I didn't see it. I was looking at my flourishing Tinder account. Next up, Chris G says, in order to win Capcom Cup and Evo, you have to be a virgin. I would know me and Jesus soul bonded for those things to happen. Uh, the really cool thing is I can get drunk off of water. Tong says, uh, these two minutes a day aren't affecting my training. <laughs> Well, man said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm smashing, but that's only taking two minutes, baby. That's not affecting my training. Yo, at least he keeps it a buck. That's what's up, right? Others are like doing combos equals virginity and so on. Even St. Cola Post said that. He said, y'all got them unemployed combos. <laughs> Yo, and it continues. That is, isn't it? Like I said, that is beautiful. I can't even put it better than that. Whoever's, my, I tip my hat to you, sir. Rage crew, I, but, but real talk, let's be real. We've heard these arguments before, right? I've seen people have these takes where they're like, no, I, if they lose, one of the first things they say is, I have a job. I'm sorry, I can't game all the time. I got kids. I'm doing real shit. You know what I'm saying? You over here, a nerd, wasting your life. That's the OS, right? We've, we've heard that a lot. That's definitely one of the classics. Now, for me, in my point of view, not much, because I know, like, I don't get much time to play just because I'm editing and doing filming and running button check, you know, and producing other stuff. So much. It's crazy. You would think a gaming content creator gets to play all the time. No, we don't, because I haven't started streaming yet. I will, but anyway, for there, it's very hard. It's very hard. So you have to make sure all of your time is accounted for and it's the most precious commodity that you own. But in saying that, I learned that you technically still can. All it takes is 15 to 20 to 30 minutes a day just to carve it out, warm on your combos, make sure you still got them, go to training mode and you're sharp. You know what I'm saying? You can actually keep those skills. It's when you just don't do anything. You're choosing not to do anything with the full-time job and kids and all that, then that's when you're dwindling and you have no skills. So either way, I believe not to jock ride or anything, but I believe in Miss Miss Play stuff when she said, no excuses, legit. I'm gonna say, obviously the, the year just started, but I'm gonna say this is gonna be the quote of the year. I'm um, hands down, we need to start giving quotes of the year, don't we? We need to have like a, a ceremony for quotes of the year. Let me know how y'all feel about that. <laughs> feel about that. Anyway, I got nothing to say. How y'all feel it? All right, next up for them legendary beef sets. Buttons that need to be checked. Holy shit, was this a roller coaster? So we have already known some of it so far, right? Sikander versus I'm Still the Daddy. These guys have been going at it like some fucking barbarians. You know what I'm saying? For like the last several months, right? In multiple games. Well, mainly I think it was, what was it? Just MK1, right? So anyway, Sikander's from that MK World. MK World, uh, I'm Still the Daddy is from Street Fighter World. They collided. I'm Still the Daddy threw it up. How much did they... They, I think they ran the money match for 500 or something like that. Sikander ended up getting most of the matches, right? If not all of them. Well, somehow the beef spilt over into Tekken 8. Foxy Grandpa posted this just the other day saying beef set today at 8 p.m. Um, tagging both guys, right? Saying both to a new game. Both still have beef from MK. Expect real shit talk and chaos streaming there and the legendary beef returns. And just to clear it up real quick, I, okay, here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm gonna put the links down below to the beef set in that legendary match. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Oh, the reason why we're not gonna check out clips right now is because I did not get permission to show clips right now. Now, that's not saying because he, like Foxy Grandpa said no, I just haven't received, received a response at this point. But I'm on a time crunch, I gotta make the video. So, like I said, we're just gonna do screenshots. If you wanna see the action, trust me, you wanna see the action, I'm gonna do the recap with some screenshots. You know what I'm saying? Click the link below, it is fucking hilarious. Okay, so brief recap, right? And I'm not gonna give away all of it, but just real brief. Okay, so Sikander starts off saying he hasn't even played the game but he wants to body the guy real bad. He's like, I've only played it for like 20 minutes, right? Uh, I'm still the daddy, I believe, has more playing time in, in T8. Anyway, they get at it. They're talking that shit. Right off the bat, it is clear that I'm still the daddy is whooping that ass. The tables have finally turned and you know he's loving it. He's talking shit. Oh my God, he's having people falling out of their damn chairs, right? It gets all the way to like 7-0. 8-0, and I'm, I guess it went all the way to, what, 11-0? Because I'm still the daddy posted this saying, won the Tekken 8 beef set tonight, 11-0 versus Sikander. General's Army got the W, hope everybody has a good night. And I'm trying to tell you, when I went in there and I watched some of that stream, it got to the point where I'm still the daddy. Oh my God, it was a fucking, I, I, I wanna label it a beautiful dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the hell it is, because there was one point where I'm still the daddy was just flexing on him. He made a perfect legend comment. He said something like, I'm about to PL you or something like that. Perfect legend was in the fucking chat. Then he starts talking shit to I'm still the daddy. And he's like, oh yeah, let's run it. I'll beat your ass. And people are like, oh no, perfect will beat your ass. And then I'm still the daddy hears it. And he's like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. I, I wasn't, hey, yo, it was like, I wasn't talking shit about you. I like PL. Ain't no beef on my side. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of got squashed. But then somebody else came in at the end. Somebody by the name, I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Queen, Queen something, Queenie, something like that. That's an MK player. Came in, started talking shit to both of them. Even Foxy Grandpa was like, oh, this is about to be a fucking circus. Uh, they all three, nah, 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 talking to the... <laughs> And every time one of them's talking shit, I guess Foxy Grandpa's movie like their avatar across the screen. Queenie that comes in, right? Talks so much shit between Sikander and I'm Still the Daddy. Somehow gets that Sikander talking about I'll beat your ass, bitch. Sikander fires back saying I'll beat your ass. We can run it. They end up running the set. Sikander versus Queen, right? I'm not gonna give away who won. Y'all enjoy that one down below. Like I said, it is fucking mayhem. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect this one because I was like, we've already seen some. Sikander's got the best. They're playing a new game right now. Might be a little lackluster, but when you know you got two guys with the gift of gab. And like I said, I'm a fan of both of these guys. I've talked to both of them at one time or another. Just on, you know, through button check, they've both been nice to me. Oh, I actually got an update. Check this out. So something I didn't think about, I'm still the daddy, I guess, was recording as well. And he said have a laugh, uploading the full set to his YouTube shortly. Okay, so he posted this one live on Twitter. Let's check it out. All right, well played. Um, I respect you for no, uh, the, the attempt. Yeah, and... I don't even die, you fucking cunt. I don't give a fuck about you, GG, bitch. Go See fuck the yourself. shit how you talk sometimes. You, you got no heart. You, That's the difference between me and you. You have no actual heart, You ain't getting no GG from me, bitch. You cheap uh, ass motherfucker. I don't even fuck your shit anyway. You see me in a game that I don't really give a shit about, but you Intelligence of a squirrel and an outdoor social you. life of Edward Scissorhands. Fuck you mean yeah. GG, you dirty bum. Like a virgin. Oh, watch yourself, you dirty Charge for the very first time. The really thinks, you Go stupid? fucking make love to one of your Mike Myers sex toys, you little pom pom. Go fuck oh. out of here, man. Yeah, you knew that you don't have MK and you thought I wasn't gonna accept it. You're a bitch. Your you bitch is a fucking sub zero with his top off on your wall. In your attic, bruh. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, I'm done with this little cockroach. He got washed uh, literally. Wait, wait, wait. Ten motherfucking meal. You. I got something to ask. <laughs> Oh my god. I love the way Foxy did it too, like how he made them into characters. Oh my god, that's gold. It's gold. I just sat back and enjoyed the show, ate some popcorn, and they know how to fucking entertain. Anyway, check out Foxy Grandpa. Link down below. You're welcome. Trust me. Let me know how y'all feeling. That it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you were feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. Big up to the sponsor, Timu, once again, for helping us out and sponsoring the video. All their links down below. Like I said, it was a no-brainer. I saw their pricing. I was like, I, you can't beat it. My wife already used it. I was like, all right, let's do it. So. 
thank you. And thank you for the amazing Patreons. They actually got to see this video first this time. We're ahead of schedule, so that's it. We're gonna try to work on another giveaway uh, for the Patreon coming up soon as well. So with that being said, as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. So you can and now for that moment of FGC bliss, this one right here was posted by somebody by the name of at Heidi Art, if I'm pronouncing that right. I tried to look up pronunciation, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Their information on the screen, but also down below, they posted this hilarious video um, saying, thank you, Harada, for adding the official uh, Cisco. Y'all remember Cisco from Drew Hill? Anyway, tagging him and also hashtag Tekken 8. Enjoy the video. Let me make it